Hi, it's Mike here from Redline Detection, the world's leader in diagnostic leak detection technology, made right here in the USA with this week's tech tip. So this week we're going to be talking about a P0299 code, which is low boost. So if you haven't been experiencing diagnosing low boost, let me first of all start out with this graphic here, which clearly shows the increase in turbocharged vehicles is just going insane. So if you're not diagnosing turbocharged vehicles right now, you will be. So I want to talk about the proper way to diagnose it and some of the improper ways it's being done out there right now. So this is a 2018 F-150, it's got a 3.5 liter twin turbo engine in it. And you, I already put my scan tool on there and verified that it's a P0299 code. So the first thing I did was I went into the Ford service information and you can see from this document that there's about five things that most likely would cause this low boost. The fastest, simplest thing to do is verify it for leaks because that's going to be your least expensive repair as well. I've got our Smoke Pro Total Tech hooked up which is a low pressure smoke machine. Now this is what almost every shop has right now. This is where a lot of people are going wrong trying to diagnose these. This puts out a half a PSI of pressure and it puts out a flow rate that is designed for EVAP systems or unboosted systems. Now that doesn't mean you can't find a leak with it, but it would have to be a pretty significant leak. But I want to start with this to, to see if it has a large leak, and if not, then I'm going to show you the proper way to do this. So we're going to go ahead and hook it up right now. We're going to take off your air box. Since we have our low pressure smoke machine, we can use our easy intake. And once we inflate this, and it seals, okay, we're sealed. Okay, turn on our unit, put some flow in there, let it fill up the system, and then we're gonna take a look to see if any leaks are present. So we take our inspection light, we start looking around by the turbo, by the flange, any of the hoses and connections. Look on the other side, since we have two turbos on this. By the way, these little turbos on these Fords are just bulletproof, so they rarely go bad. So it's usually something else. Okay, there's no indication there's a leak right now. But before I start condemning other components, I'm gonna switch to a high pressure smoke machine and see if there's a leak present. Okay, so we switched out our product. We're now using the Power Smoke Pro, which is high pressure smoke machine and high flow. And now, a lot of people are thinking, well, why can't I just use my low pressure smoke machine and just add air for pressure? It just doesn't work properly. So you need high flow. It's not just about pressure. So we're also gonna be using a different bladder. So this is actually a power intake uh, because we're putting additional pressure inside the system. We need something that will hold that. So. We're going to go ahead and use this. We're going to inflate it. Hook up our smoke hose. Turn on our high pressure. We're only going to put 5 PSI in this initially. That's all you really need. And then we're going to try, we're going to look for leaks. Same process. Go to the other side because the twin turbos. And we got a leak. So clearly the difference by just using 5 PSI with high flow rate, we identified the leak. Now we just save the trouble of replacing an expensive component. So it looks like we've got a loose clamp down there. So we're going to go closer and diagnose that, fix it, and we'll retest it and make sure it's sealed after that. All right, thanks for tuning in to this week's tech tip. If you need further technical assistance, Redline's legendary customer service is available to you with ASC certified technicians just a phone call away.